Hi, I'm Brian Green and I'm a water quality scientist with Utah State University Water Quality Extension. Today we're going to be talking about one of the oldest and most important measurements that you can do on the lake or reservoir. They're called a secchi disk, which is a measurement of water clarity or turbidity, showing how much suspended material, be it sediment, uh, plant material like algae, is in the water column. The Secchi disk is one of our oldest and most important measurements for lakes. It's a white and black disk that's eight inches in diameter that you lower into the water to see how clear it is. If the water is really clear, you can lower it down much further. If the water is very turbid or cloudy, you won't be able to lower it down as far and still be able to see this. Um, a Secchi disk, S-E-C-C-H-I, is invented by Pietro Angelo Secchi, an Italian scientist in the 1800s. Uh, I always like to tell students, if you ever invent something, name it after yourself. That way people will be talking about you over 200 years later. So it's a good, really easy way to get a lot of measurements. This has been one of the most used water quality parameters all throughout the world. People have been taking discs like this, dropping them down into lakes and the oceans to being able to see how clear the water is and it can provide us information about runoff, about nutrient inputs, about the trophic state or how productive a lake or reservoir is. And so it's really simple to do. Um, the key thing is you need to have access to deep water. So you need to either do this off a pier like we're doing here at Cutler Reservoir or off a boat. Um, Another good thing is doing it during the middle of the day when the sun is high up overhead so it provides you uh, good visibility to be able to, to see. So we're going to go over the official method for how we do this in the state of Utah. Different states, different areas might have different methods. Some discs are all white, some have different shapes, but um, this is the one that we use here in Utah. It's important to remember not to be wearing your special polarized glasses because those help you see further down into the water. So how you do this test is you come out to where your monitoring location will be and then you are going to take the disc which is attached to a measuring tape either in meters or in feet and you're going to slowly lower it down in the water and you're going to lower it down until you can't see any of the white and black markings. And then you're going to slowly move it up till you can just start to faintly see. As soon as you can faintly see that white and black outline, you're then able to go and mark the surface of the water and see how deep down the disc is underneath there. That gives you a good measurement of the water clarity in the column of the lake or reservoir. One important thing to remember when you're using the Secchi disc is if you're in a more shallow location that you don't want to let it go all the way down to where it hits the bottom of the, the sediment. Sometimes that can release a plume up which can make it uh, extra cloudy or extra turbid. So just lower it down to where you can't see it and then just bring it right back up so you can start to see this faint white and black outline.